Loki season two episode one is here and in this video I want to give my reaction and first thoughts on this episode is the MCU saved or are we in for more pain the answer is complicated and I have a lot to say so let's get into it first off I just want to say I really 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 enjoyed Loki season two episode one and I've got a lot of dope things to say about the episode I thought it was fire but there's a really big but and I want to talk about it. But first, let's focus on the good stuff. I think the one word that would come to mind for me with regards to this episode is quality. Loki season one established this vibe, this style, this feeling. And I think it carried over perfectly into this, the first episode of the second season. And that really matters because they did a lot of changing to the people behind the scenes, behind the camera when it comes to Loki for its second season. Although Michael Waldron gets created for television by and executive producer credit he's really not involved in the show much at all instead eric martin handles writing duties on this first episode and i think for the majority of the season for all intents and purposes he is the show runner also if you don't remember there was a single director that did every single episode in the first season of loki and that would be kate huron and she opted not to come back for the second season of loki and so myself and many others were worried about this naturally i mean when you change a lot of stuff about the people making the thing there's a lot of changes that could be appearing in the thing itself but i'm happy to report this episode was fantastic if anything it's even better just literally better in a lot of different ways than a lot of stuff that was in the first season the cinematography shot selection it's on point man these directors were fantastic the music is just as good if not better but the, you know natalie hold is back for that so of course she's killing it just like she was in season one the performances were fantastic man like really some incredible stuff and even the supporting cast really brought it and it felt like the writing supported them the directing supported them no gaps whatsoever Ever, like all around great performances the story and pacing of the episode was really freaking cool taking us to the past taking us to the future teasing some really interesting things out all being driven by Loki's desire to explain to the TVA what happened at the end of time and why they now have to prepare for an infinite amount of Kangs coming to destroy everything. This episode and really the performance by Tom Hiddleston does way more to sell Kang as a viable threat and something that everybody should be afraid of than even quantum mania. Like it's actually better if you don't think about quantum mania and the fact that Kang got beat by super intelligent ants. And if you can erase that from your memory like Kang did to all the TVA members and just focus on what's here in this first episode of Loki season two. I got a chill, man. I, I was genuinely afraid of what Kang was going to be doing, of what all that meant, simply based upon the performance of Tom Hiddleston and a lot of the crazy stuff that was going on in this episode. And man, oh man, the visual effects in this first episode, so damn good. And it's crazy because we just saw Quantumania and Secret Invasion, which both had price tags upwards of $200 million. And yet the visual effects for both of those projects don't have anything on what we just saw in Loki season two, episode one. The time slipping is fantastic. And that visual really goes a long way to establishing just how weird and freaky this whole situation is. And the scenes with the time loom or the temporal loom. Wow, what a crazy feast of amazing visual effects. And I also just really love how meaningful everything felt in this episode. Like a lot of Marvel product just feels super disconnected from anything else big that's going on. And this show is technically technically separate from everything and yet i feel like the sake of the multiverse or the fate of the multiverse just hangs in the balance like it's really crazy it feels consequential and things that are happening in the episode intrigue me make me curious make me want to speculate make me want to create theories I've got so many different thoughts about what this could mean for the multiverse overall based on some rumors I've heard about how this connects directly into Deadpool 3 and then into Secret Wars. This is an absolutely incredible start to something that feels right. It feels like this is what Marvel has been missing, but it might be too little too late. And I know some of you don't like it when I talk about numbers, when I talk about how things are performing, when I just generally notice that Marvel isn't doing that well. So maybe just don't watch the rest of the video. Just, just remember that I like Loki quite a bit. We're going to be covering it for the duration of the show. And then peace out of here. Because I got to say, 
I feel like Marvel might be dead. There was not a lot of buzz yesterday for Loki. A lot of my YouTuber friends that are covering Loki are saying that the views are way down for their videos. On Twitter, the very next day after this thing performed, it is not trended in the top 30 at all. And even in my For You trending tab, Loki hasn't really been in there. Deadpool 3 and Transformers are in my For You trending tab more than Loki. That's a problem. I feel like if this season had come out the following year after Loki season one, it would have been heralded as this monumental thing. I think people would be freaking out for it, and I think it would have been really popular. Remember, Loki season one is still the biggest Disney Plus show they've ever had. And although we don't know for sure how the second season of Loki is going to perform, I have felt a serious lack of hype, and I just can't see it actually performing it the same way that season one did. And even this first episode that I like liked quite a bit. I don't feel like there's anything really in there for more casual Marvel fans to get really excited about. I feel like Loki season one's success was more of the time of where Marvel fans were at coming out of the Infinity Saga, understanding this new multiversal thing, like that they were going to break it open. They were doing wild stuff with Disney Plus. The possibilities were endless, and many of us thought all kinds of crazy stuff could be happening in these Disney plus shows but years later and many many mid projects later we don't feel the same way i think a lot of casual marvel fans aren't really concerned about any cool thing that might happen in loki season two because it feels like it can't be as dope as we want it to be because we know what the next two years of marvel content look like and there's just no way that loki season two is going to significantly change any of those projects. In the next few years, we have The Marvels, What If Season 2, Echo, X-Men 97, Deadpool 3, Captain America Brave New World, Agatha whatever, and Thunderbolts. That's what's officially on the books. And look, we know that this show, Loki Season 2, is probably going to lead directly into Deadpool 3, which will then lead directly into Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars. And that is awesome. But it feels like there's a ton of other stuff that isn't going to have anything to do with this and that I don't really have a lot of hype for. I've been pretty vocal on Twitter lately talking about why I think Kevin Feige needs to straight up cancel some of these projects and rework the plan for Marvel Studios to get to Secret Wars as fast as possible. I have even gone as far as to say I think they need to cancel the Kang Dynasty, and I honestly feel that way. I mean, what does it matter to go into the next Avengers movie with a team of Avengers that for years we still don't even know who who the actual team is, and we really don't care too much about those characters, and we know they're probably just going to lose, and what we're really excited for is Secret Wars with Hugh Jackman and Tobey Maguire and Robert Downey Jr. and the craziness of the multiverse, the promise that happened when he put that up on the screen and all the leaks and rumors that have come out since. I know it sounds harsh, but I love Marvel, and I talk about Marvel a lot on this channel. At least, I used to. I pretty much just took a two-month break from Marvel just covering the Ahsoka show, and it was honestly super pleasant. And Star Wars has its own issues, and it's not in a great place either, but I liked Ahsoka, and I felt like it was a breath of fresh air. And so I'm saying it again, with love... Marvel needs drastic change. They need to cancel a lot of these projects that don't feel like they matter because I think Loki season two does matter. And I think it is a project they put a lot into and I'm really enjoying it. But it is pretty clear that about half of the audience is just not feeling the same. And it could be even worse. We're going to see what the Nielsen numbers are eventually. We will see how it's performing versus other shows. And hey, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe despite videos on YouTube not doing that great, despite it not trending, maybe a ton of people are watching it. That would be crazy. I suppose that is possible. But for now, what it feels like is Loki season two is not hitting the way I expected it to. And it's not Loki's fault. It's the fault of Marvel's over bloated sense of self importance. All of this stuff that doesn't directly tie into the story that you started telling in Loki season one does not matter. And it has turned a lot of people away from even showing up when it actually does matter. I'm going to keep watching Loki. Like I said, I had a blast with the first episode. I have theories and speculation that I want to talk about with you. So we'll be doing videos and stuff like that. But I just got to say what's honestly on my mind, how I feel about this. It's, it's good. 
but it feels bad, man. Why aren't more people excited? Well, I think I know why, and I've explained it in this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as I always say, I hope you're having an awesome and a nerdy day, and I'll see you in the next video.